In this video, I'm going to repeat the difference between a JPEG image and a vector image and how we can bring a JPEG or any kind of image into Gravit and then vectorize it so it becomes a vector graphic. So I have these two identical images on my workspace. And one of them is actually a JPEG and the other is a vector. There are two ways of uh, figuring out what kind of format your image is in. So first I can look on the layers panel on the left and this left image planet 5-512 there's a little icon here with uh, like little mountains that's a JPEG format if I were to go ahead and double click I can't modify this image the way I would be able to modify a vector image it's a flat image it's made out of pixels we rem we remember that pixels are tiny little squares that contain color information. So I can't really do anything to this image besides maybe, you know, crop it. But that's pretty much it. This is not a format that is going to be recognized by a laser cutter, and it is not a vector graphic. My image on the right hand side, oops. My image on the right hand side, if I go ahead and double click on it, or if I'm in subselect with my white cursor, see that I have all my little paths, I have all my little anchor points. So this is a vector image. I can modify it the way I would any other vector image that we've seen so far. So how do I get from this on the left hand side to this on the right hand side? I'm gonna go ahead and hide this for a second. So to import an image, into Gravit, you can go up here to the top menu and select Place Image. You can also go to File, Import, and place it from here. This is just a shortcut, so it's a little bit easier. So you can go ahead and from your computer, find an image that you want to place into your workspace to vectorize it. Whenever we're working with JPEG images and we're uh, changing them and modifying them so that they become vectors. I always recommend the simpler the better, especially when we're using a program uh, like Gravit, just because it's online and it has limitations. A program like Illustrator, where you can have access to a bigger uh, RAM on your computer, you can do much more intricate things. I've noticed a lot of times that Gravit will crash if you put something that it can't handle on it. So an image like this, black and white, really simple, is usually like optimal for vectorizing. So once you've placed your image and it looks good, it's clean, notice that it's like black and white, there's no gray or any other colors, we're ready to vectorize this. So I select my whole image with my black cursor. So I'm in pointer tool. I'm going to go to modify path and then vectorize image. This is not a perfect process. You're going to see what happens in a little bit. So sometimes we do need to tweak the image a little bit. So I select vectorize image. There's a little bit of a lag, but it's doing something right now. Okay, so this is my image of complete mess. Doesn't look anything like the original. If I hover over it, however, I do see that it created exactly the same paths, only it made everything black, right? So I'm going to go and I'm going to find my outlines. And I can remember from the image that these weren't black, but these were actually white. So I'm just going to hover over and select anything that was actually white in the original, so it looks like the original one. Okay, then I have this little extra corner. I'm actually gonna double click and I'm gonna delete that because I don't need it. Okay, and if we look at the, I'm gonna resize the whole thing. So shift, I'm resizing it. And then if I look at the original one, it's damn near the same thing. Again, not a perfect process. I found that as many times as I do this, some things will come up. For example, 
a lot of times the program will vectorize the background and then when you send it to the laser cutter you'll see some extra lines in the background that you didn't know were there but they're actually in the vector so if i hover over this you see these extra lines if i delete them something will happen so i don't want to delete those and then by deleting that it actually got rid of this part here so this isn't a perfect thing sometimes we have to like manually make changes and it's not the best process um so if you chose an image you vectorized it and then it looks weird let's look at it together i'm here to help out with that um it's you know every image is different so it might vectorize it differently ultimately we will never know unless we actually send it to the laser cutter or to the machine and the machine will tell us what's wrong um but this is pretty much it just remember always a simple image try to keep it black and white once you've placed it using this uh, place symbol you're going to go to modify you're going to go to path and then you're going to vectorize your image what comes after that we'll look at together because it might be a hot mess